Mama. Oh, thank you, James. Mom, go set up James, today. I'm too tired to engage in anything you have to say right oh, now. Mom. James, why can't you understand for one? I've just returned from my third shift today and I have to be up early tomorrow morning for my morning shift. Whatever you have to say, you can wait. Why don't they care about me anymore? Yes, my boy. How are you doing? I'm mom. Good, Dad. Hope you're good. Very well, son. Just about to start work for the day. Oh, that's good. I was actually hoping to talk to you about something. I'm um, sorry, son. It will have to wait till another day. How about we we'll catch up later? Okay, Dad. That's fine. All right, bye. Bye. Tomorrow, Let there be fellowship with the children, parental involvement in the spiritual, educational, physical activities of the children, spending time together and doing things together. Not giving enough time to a child, not giving enough attention to a child is devastating to the child. If children live with depression, they grow up looking for pills and shots to get them high. The children that are not well trained, eventually they are going to end up in the wrong place here on earth and also in the hereafter, untrained, unequipped, uninstructed children. They are going to end up in the wrong place. Hello? Uh, yes, it's Mr. Anderson here. Um, we had an incident with your child, James. What? My son? Yes, yes. In trouble? We'd like you to come in tomorrow at 2.30, if you could, into my office to have a chat about it, if you can. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I'll be there tomorrow. Thank you. OK, thank you. See you then. <sighs> Jesus. What has this boy done this time? Hello, this is Anthony. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Would you mind taking a seat? Okay. Mrs. Graham, could you please excuse us as um, I talk with Mrs. Anthony? Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Anderson. I had to take an early lunch break to be here. Please tell me what the problem is with James. Well, thanks, Mrs. Anthony, for coming in on such short notice. Um, to cut the story short, Mrs. Graham has found this hard drug on your child. <laughs> Oh my gosh, with my son? That can be. Where the hell did you get that from? Some friends I made in the neighborhood. Which friends? Which friends? And for how long have you known them for? For oh, about a year now. And I'm not aware? Mom, you're not always around. You're never there. I needed someone to talk to. They were there for me. James, keep quiet. You're a child of God, a friend of Jesus. Why have you chosen to embarrass me like this? Your dad and I worked so hard to pay the bills. We bought you video games to keep you busy at home. Is this how you've chosen to embarrass us and making friends with such people? Mrs. Anthony, please, please, be calm. We'd like to help you out with this matter if we can. Uh, may I ask, is your husband around at all? He works a lot as well. He travels a lot. And I have to work enough as well to, you know, pay the bills, you know? Yes, we, we all need to make money, Mrs. Anthony, but your child is in very formative stage of his life and he needs the input of his parents at this stage. And we would like you to make time for your children, whatever, whatever way you can. Mr. Anderson, we had no idea this was going on. I'm so sorry for what this has cost your school. What is the consequence for his action? We have agreed to suspend him for a two-week period and if his behaviour continues, we'll be forced to expel him, I'm very sorry to say. 
Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We had no idea it was happening. We'll have a chat with him. Okay, thank you. Thank you. James, let's go. James, go wait for me in the car. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Sister Anne. How are you and the family? We're well, thank you, Ma. And yours? Good, thank you. Good to know that you're all well. I've been trying to call yourself for the last couple of weeks and we're going to voicemail. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ma. I was at work. Mm. Anyway, I was calling to check up on you because the last two Sundays you weren't in church and even three Sundays ago, when you did attend, you left before the service ended and I didn't get a chance to see you. I just wanted to make sure you're doing well. Physically, physically, mentally and emotionally. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Ma. I was busy with work. Even that Sunday, I was rushing to catch a shift and even now I'm heading to work. Mm, I thought that might be the case. It's all right. I'll leave you for now. But please, when you do have the time, make sure you give me a call, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you, Ma. Big ass to everyone. James? Mom, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It is my fault. I've allowed the pursuit of money to take my time with you. I have not been the mom I should be to you. Please forgive, Mommy. I forgive you, Mom. Please forgive me for choosing the wrong company. It's okay, son. Give me a hug. James, we have not only wronged each other, but we have also offended God. And we need to reconcile with Him. Okay? Can we say a prayer of forgiveness? Lord, we're sorry for our shortcomings. What, James? What, Mom? We go to church on Sunday. Really? What about work today? Mm -hmm. Nah, it's okay. They'll understand. I'll call work and explain to them. We're both around God and we need to start afresh with Him. Okay, Mom. Right. Sounds good. In Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. There the scripture tells us we need to train up our children in the way those children ought to go. And the Lord assures us that if we are faithful in training our children, not only teaching them, not only instructing them, training them, Training goes beyond simple instruction or mere teaching. If we train them in the way of the Lord, the way we should train them, the Lord has given us the promise that when they become old, they will not depart from what we teach or train them for. We're going to rise up and we pray for these children that the Lord himself will keep the anointing on them that the Lord himself will keep the power on them, that the Lord himself will keep them in consecration, that the Lord will not leave them alone, that the Lord will forever be with them as they have been a challenge to us, that the Lord will continue to make them bright, shining light and a challenge.